Hey, so I figured I would make a short tutorial for trying to troubleshoot the 3D printers since they are causing a lot of frustration for people. Um, usually the issue is that there's a jam uh, up in the nozzle up under here, uh, and that can happen a couple different ways. One is um, it can just get clogged, uh, but usually what happens is there's some amount of uh, that the material gets broken off in the back here, um, back where it gets fed into the machine down here. So actually we've already figured that part of the issue out. Um, and that often comes from this stuff when it gets exposed to humidity, like here in Indiana, uh, it gets very brittle. And so it will, it will break. Um, so I'm gonna try to capture some video to show you how I would troubleshoot, and then you can try some of this on your own. Um, so if you try to print once or twice and it's not coming out and there seems to be an issue, um, I would um, stop the print, right, rather than let it go all the way on, and then investigate a couple things. So the first thing I'd investigate is this, in this feed tube, uh, again, the, the filament can break in different places, either in the back there or uh, up in the front here. And so if you push down on this white piece, and pull up on the tube at the same time, you can get access uh, both to the, the head uh, down here, the, the hot end, and then also to the you know material that's in the tube and see if there's a problem there. Okay, so uh, I disengage the tube so I can pull this off. Uh, and again, clearly we have another problem here. So this filament, whoever was trying to print on it, it had been broken in the back and in the front, probably from being left unused for a little while. Um, and so we need to deal with both of those issues. There probably is some amount of filament left in the tube here that we'll have to uh, snake out of there. It looks like it right here. Um, and uh, so the first thing that we'll want to do is this is stuck because it's melted into the hot end. So what we need to do is change the settings on the machine to be able to melt that and get that out of there and clear any jam in the head. And then the back is usually the easier part. We need to feed new filament in uh, the back and sort of set the machine up again. Okay, so uh, we're in the front of the machine now and what we wanna do is uh, we can go, in this case, there's a couple places we can go, but in this place we'll go to materials and then we'll move to, to highlight change. And what that does is it moves the head back and forth uh, and it will start heating the print head uh, so that, again, it's leading to some melting and then we can remove the material. So uh, we'll, it'll take a couple minutes to get up to temperature, usually somewhere close to 200 degrees Celsius, and then uh, we'll check in. Okay, so the the head should be heated up. It's saying that we can remove material. I forgot that it actually tries to retract, so you might hear some sound as it tries to retract the material. And now if we pull on this, it comes out pretty easily. You can see that the end is goopy. Uh, we want to throw that away. And um, a friend of mine created a, a cool little tool here that um, we gave him the dimensions of the machine and had him machine a little piece of metal that we can use. Um, that down in there, you can sort of see it, um, is where the filament goes. And so um, what we wanna do is we can push this in there and you wanna be careful, but make sure that it sort of goes into the right hole. And since it's warm, it should help to get the, any of the filament that's left in there out and so I sort of go up and down in there and try to get that out of there. Uh, you don't want to push too hard, otherwise it will break off the, um, this whole sort of print head assembly here. But you can feel that there's some friction in there as you um, move the tool. And um, so I try to sort of get it along the sides there to get that out of there. Um, so after you do a bit of that, hopefully that tube and that nozzle are open and then uh, we can work on the second part which is getting new material put into the tube and fed up uh, into the nozzle head. 
Um, I just pulled this out of the machine and you're, you might be tempted to try to scrape some of this off. Uh, because this is metal and because it gets very hot in there, I would give it a few moments to cool down before you touch it, otherwise you will get a pretty nice burn. So this is from uh, a different printer, but um, when I did the extraction for this one, which was also clogged, uh, the extraction was fine, so it pulled this filament out, but you can tell that, um, and you can't really tell from seeing it, but you can tell from feeling it, there's a sort of a rough edge to this, uh, whereas the filament is usually smooth. And what that is from is from as that filament gets fed through the back here, there are um, things that sort of allow via friction for it to get pushed up through the tube and fed into the machine. And each time it uses up material, the, the machine sort of feeds new material in from the spool back here. Uh, and you can actually in this light see a little bit of the pattern that gets onto the filament here, um, over in here. And what that's from is from the sort of grinding in here. Uh, if it starts sort of grinding on the filament, sometimes it grinds it away enough that it actually won't catch the filament anymore. And then it won't get fed into the machine. This can also happen if some of those pieces break off like we had in the other machine. Um, so that's something to look out for. You, once you see that, um, I'll wanna break off or cut off this end of the filament so that that stuff's not in there. Uh, and start with a new piece so that it's less likely to, uh, you know, get stuck in there. So with two of these machines, we have a nice sort of little feed box on the back here. Um, and what you do is there is a small little port underneath. You can see the hole uh, just above the black cable there. And that is where you'll feed uh, the end of the material in and uh, what you want to do is push down on this little white uh, piece on the side here. I'm uh, sorry, pick up, lift it up, and feed the material in. And when you let it go down, it will then re-engage the material and should feed it into the machine. So you can go ahead, feed it in there. Um, I like to push it in, not just to the point where it's just catching, but further into the tube. Um, and then uh, I'll show you what to do on the front of the machine. So the front of the machine here is still saying remove material. If we hit ready, uh, we inserted new material in the back and you can see that it is, uh, you can probably hear it more than see it, but it is starting to feed that material up into the machine. And once we have a good amount in there, like I said, I typically like to overdo it, um, then it will forward it up and around. And we should, if things have worked and there's not a clog in there, we should see it just starting to come out to the edge. Okay, so you can see that there. And um, like I said, I typically like to um, wait for it to feed out a good amount because then I will use that to feed into the, um, into the feed hole here uh, that goes down into the nozzle. Okay, so I probably have uh, a little bit more than has, uh, than the length of from the tube to the hot end here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit ready. Uh, this is PLA material, so I'm gonna select that. But, um, it hasn't been fed into the into the head yet. So what I'm gonna do is come back here and then I'm going to try to carefully, sometimes you need to stretch out the end of the material because you're you're trying to get it to go through a, a couple holes in the, in the entire assembly here. So I think there's a hole up here, I think there's a hole here, and then there's the, the tip down at the bottom. So I think I've got it in there. And so if I put it in and I, gently push down, you might start seeing filament coming out the, um, the hot end. So I sort of carefully continue to push the tube in until it won't go anymore. Um, and 
it's okay that that filament's sort of getting hung up on the hot end there. And so that should be it. Um, at this point, you can um, go ahead and try your print and hopefully it will work. Uh, if not, it's probably that there's a, a jam in the head. If it continues to have this problem, probably a jam in the head or that the filament's really brittle. Um, and so those are the things that I would look for uh, as you continue to troubleshoot. Just as an additional thing to show you, um, similar to what's on the hot end, there's a one of these sort of compression fittings here that the first part of the tube fits in. Um, when I tried to feed the black filament in the bottom, it was getting stuck. Uh, and so I opened up this and sure enough, there was a piece of filament stuck in this part of the tube. So um, that is something that you'll wanna check on, uh, but you can disengage and then re-engage by just poking it in there um, and you should be fine.